It's about to get real. Fast foodies, I hope y'all like Arby's because today I'm gonna be dropping not one, not two, but three RB reviews. Why three? Well, because Arby's just launched three new fast food items. And whenever there's new fast food, I try my best to get my hands on it and review it for you guys to let you know if it's worth your time, money, or your calories. So to see more reviews of the newest, latest, greatest fast food items, snacks, ice cream, cereals, then all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. But because two of the new fast food items were desserts, and well, we aren't barbarians here on the fast foodies, we don't eat dessert at the same time as we eat our dinner. No, 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 not here on the fast foodies. I'm gonna be reviewing the all new, real country style pork rib sandwich. And then I will review the other two desserts, which are, oh wait, I can't tell you guys. But what I can tell you is what comes on this real country style pork rib sandwich. We have the pork ribs, the real country style pork ribs. And then we have some toasted onion rings and then regular mayonnaise. Although it looks like they substituted the mayo for some cheddar cheese on my sandwich. But then of course we have the barbecue sauce. Oh wait, smoky barbecue sauce. And all that is sandwiched in between two toasted buns. But I'm currently in Kansas City right now. And in Kansas, we take our barbecue pretty darn seriously. So there's quite a bit of pressure on Arby's to deliver with this new country style, real country style pork rib sandwich. But you know what they say, pressure is what turns coal into diamonds. Well, Arby's, I'm not sure if you're gonna be shining quite as bright as those diamonds in uh, that Rihanna song. <laughs> shine bright, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. But Arby's, I mean, you guys say hey, you have the meats. And once again, they definitely do have the meats. The meat is a little fatty, however, I would have liked for the, the ribs to be, well, a little bit less fatty. However, for the amount I'm getting, I'm enjoying it. And then the crispy onion rings help add a nice little bit of crunch, nice little bit of texture as well. But now on to the, the cheddar cheese sauce, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be mayo. And I do think I would have enjoyed mayo more than the, than the cheese I'm getting in my real country style pork rib sandwich. I think the cheese is just a little too heavy along with that smoky barbecue flavor. I think that the mayo would have added a nice little relief to all that smokiness that the cheddar cheese doesn't really provide. Speaking of that smoky barbecue sauce, I'm not really sure how smoky it is, but it is a nice barbecue sauce and it complements the real country style pork rib sandwiches pretty nicely. And then last but not least, that bun, it could be a little bit more toasted. But for a fast food meat sandwich, once again, Arby's did a pretty solid job. For ratings, I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely not a bad option if you have an Arby's near you. Although, I would ask them to make sure that they add mayo and not cheddar cheese because I do think that mayo, with mayo, this could have been an eight, eight and a half out of 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you in the uh, next few Arby's reviews I got coming pretty shortly here. So yeah, definitely make sure to stay tuned for those. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you wanna become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.